I'm Joe David, Chief of the Clarence Fire District, and this is our firehouse. The best we can tell is the accident's about a quarter of a mile down that pathway. We've been called to the scene. We have what they call a golden hour. The golden hour is from the time of the trauma, you have one hour to get them to the OR. The first phase of the search and rescue is the Rhino team. The Rhino carries everything that our ambulance carries except a stretcher. The Rhino is the only thing we have in our fleet right now that can get through most of the woods. I see this is command. Clarence, go ahead. Has SR1 found the patient yet? We advised, I estimate, about a six or a seven minute ETA to extricate. Chief, if you want to update emergency flight, there's approximately a 30 year old female inside. Severe facial trauma, extremity trauma. Would you put emergency flight on standby? Clear. Mercy flight on standby. One, two, three. Be advised, we have gained access to the patient. We're getting ready to put her on a backboard and bring her out. ETA to your location from this point is about uh, three minutes. Advise Mercy Flight 5 is en route to ECMC. Clarence is in service return. The simulation proves what the Rhino does best. It saves time and energy, and that equates to saving lives. We were able to locate the victim, extricate the victim, transport him out to the landing zone. The whole elapsed time was about 34 minutes. And without it, we would have missed our window for the golden hour. Well, after doing this job for 18 years, it's great to be part of a team that has come up with a solution to a problem or a challenge that we face in the fire service. I can't believe we've gone this long without a tool like this.